We have a massive $100,000 problem with our two Ferrari 599s. This one belongs to my best friend, Damon Farr. Now recently, as you know, if you've been watching, we did a manual conversion, we put a handbrake in it, an electric power steering to make this the ultimate block beater drift car. Now this one, unfortunately, won't even start. The ECU is completely bricked. Now the second one runs, we got it running, but it's pretty lame. <laughs> Now, first of all, we had to take apart the manual system to copy it, but unfortunately, we can't get the first gear to align properly, so right now I have to beat the sh to get it in first gear. Again, it's running, and we're all excited, and well, watch what happens when I dump the clutch. It kills all power. Something wrong with the ECU. The handbrake works, but once I get on the throttle, it cuts all power. So, what do you do with this now? It was pretty much a complete useless 599. I can drive it out somewhat normal, but what's the point? Here's the issue, here's why it's gonna cost $100,000. Ferrari won't help. They won't give us ECUs and tune them for a manual transmission. It's not on the cards. The only option is standalone at a cost of $50,000 each. So, there's one more option I'm gonna try today in this video. One more possible solution. First, enjoy the noise of the 599. <laughs> It's in the trunk, let's go look. Now I have one option, so I brought in Ferrari's absolute worst enemy. My secret weapon, the last thing I have before spending $100,000. Come on out, Art. Oh my God. You good, bro? I told you not to mess with the ECUs, Jesus. Did you hear what I was talking about? It's cutting all power. He broke it. So all jokes aside, this is Art from EAG. He manufactures a manual conversion kit. Now, Ferrari only made 20 real manual 5 and 25. I think. How many have you made? Over 35. Ferrari's worst enemy. He's here to save the day. Ferrari will not sell me an e and programmer for a manual car. There's not a chance in no. hell. So this is our only option. Art flew in from Texas. He only has one day and he's gone for three months. So this is our only chance getting these cars running. This car actually runs. It's less complicated. The red car won't even start. What I did was I had Steven copy the e in this. Why was that bad? There's different firmware versions for all these cars. Yeah. So you can't really cross flash from one car to another. So it's my fault. Yeah. So I'm dumb. You broke it. Think you can fix it? Maybe. We'll see. Also noticed uh, yeah. uh, that guy right there. That's uh Yeah, I'm kinda hard on vehicles. So what if I can't fix it? If you can't fix this, the only option is standalone. Okay, let's get to it. We had to order a very special Ficom from a Alfa Romeo. Yeah. But it works on this car? It does, yeah. It works on Ferrari's Alpha. Travis, who owns Outrun Manufacturing in Vancouver, British Columbia, had the FICOM. He sent this overnight from Canada. It actually got here just in time. Five minutes before he actually showed up this morning. So we have this. Now we're starting to go through the process of, did I destroy these ECUs? Will this car run? Or are we... Because we have a lot of broken cars for now. And I know you guys don't like that either. Sometimes there's complaints like, your cars are all broken. Yeah, I agree. It's not fun. It's sort of fun to drive, not stare at. There you go, brother. Thank you, sir. Your FICOM. Appreciate it. Well, that's so fast. What's this thing here? Uh, that's another tool. I just want to kind of go over some things. The best case scenario, I mean, we get it done in, in, in an hour or so, or I mean, if you completely screwed up the ECUs, then we're going to have to figure out new ECUs. So the ECUs are plugged into the car on, yep. on both sides. Should be. Is it not recognizing it's it? It's not reading any module. Oh my God. Cause I mean, they're actually bricked. So you're probably wondering why we're doing Damon's car first. Is that because you love Damon and you want him to have his car before yours? No, I DB'd a tire. So I need to wait for Stephen to get back to jack that up and change the tire so we can pull it into the shop. That's actually an HRE wheel in that car that we paid for, the eight Gs, originally from the F12 back in 2018. So I don't want to wreck that wheel. I'm not doing this with the goodness of my heart. I'm doing this because of convenience of time. This car is not a US car. No, it's not. This car is a from Japan. Where's your car from? Uh, Switzerland. Switzerland? Yeah, completely different firmware. Oh, really? I wonder if that's why it's not reading. In Canada, we have a 15-year rule for import. You in the US have 25 years, which allows us to get cars early, which makes these cars really, really inexpensive. This car I paid, I think, 130 Canadian for, and then mine, it was like 160. I found this on Facebook Marketplace, and it's almost supply and demand. Even like R34 GTRs in Canada, we've had them now for the past 10 years. Nobody cares. Not like down here where it's really special. I'm not bashing the car, even though the car does suck. I'm just saying the fact that we've had them for so long now, it waters it down. Okay, well, we got rid of half the warning ones. Really? Wanna try starting it?
hold on. You've been here for five Am I being hustled right now? I did upgrade myself to first class, but I paid for it. By the way, just for just super clear, by the way, Art was not in the trunk. I was having fun with you guys. That would suck. That'd be very dangerous. But if he doesn't fix these cars, he's going in the trunk of the Senna. There's nothing else funny that you guys wired into this car. Some people it? say I'm not actually funny. I just have good dad jokes. I just react to what's happening. Does that answer your question? I can, yeah, for now. You listen to music right now? No, man. I'm working. What's this for then? For work. For work? Yes. They told the IRS when you bought them and wrote them off? Uh, why are you opening those? So we can see what's inside. Oh look, circuit board. We need access to the board. Do you actually? Yeah, so we can put it in boot mode. The cars you convert, you do a 430. 360. 612, 599, 575. What's the most popular? It used to be the 430s and then the 360s. But then the 575s became pretty popular. What's the next conversion you're thinking? Here's a little inside scoop, what's next? The uh, brand starts with an L. Oh, Lotus, sick. That, yeah. Lotta. I'm gonna eat these ones. Yeah, <laughs> no, we're not doing that. <laughs> these old boards, the only way to actually get into the correct sector files that are needed to convert it to a manual, there's a boot pin that's on the board, which you actually have to ground, which puts the computer into boot mode. And it allows you to flash that specific sector. So like the tuning files, you can just hook up to this and do your little mapping and, and call it a day, but the important stuff you need to get in. If I'm ever lying in bed at night and I can't sleep, I'm gonna call Art to explain to me how you use a boot file on the ECU. Did you get sleeping? No, I was good. The whole time I was, in, I was really engaged. This is like, you are absolutely Ferrari's worst enemy. Would you agree? Like, do you think Ferrari likes you? I like that. You doubt it? Well, I brought a special guest in. It's Ferrari's attorney. He wanted to come meet you. Come on in, boys! <laughs> dude, this is starting to look like an art project. Yeah, dude, this is wild. Considering this car brand new is like, I don't know how much it was, probably a few hundred grand, right? 250? So we call it $250,000, and here you are, just tearing the knee seats apart, shimmering some wires together. Plus, we also cut the and put a handbrake in it. Porsche electric power strain pump. Do you put a Porsche power strain pump in it? Yep, electric now. It's cool. Because the higher RPM burns the pumps out. Both of them burnt out right away. Because mm -hmm. The block, you'll, you'll see that in today's video if you get this done. The block beats up. The block's hard on things. Hard on hurricanes, hard on minivans. So that's cool, it's all hooked up. Yeah, it's really you excited. You seem excited right now. I'm so excited. Do I look excited? I like your demeanor. You're a smooth cowboy. Oh, 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 oh. Ah. Are you rich? He'll let us know. Oh, yeah, secret what you, guy. What you screwed up. He actually has somebody. No, we also talk about this at Ferrari right now, doing this behind the scenes. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> or am I? Hey, the boys are back. They have their own video they're doing right now, which you may have already seen. You may haven't seen it yet. But guess what? I need a tire service. What the heck? Whoa! <laughs> Did you not check your PSI before you went out? No, that's your job. I don't even know how to spell you PSI. Check my tire. Oh my god. <laughs> you know what? Though? Really, Dave? Oh, the handbrake. Really? <laughs> yeah. Screw it, pop. Had handbrake and you got the throttle? <laughs> Don't do that, you'll break a transmission or an axle. Clutch in, handbrake. Yeah. Yeah, no, I did that. Okay. Clutch in, handbrake, handbrake. and then pop it, but then it will go, ugh, because it's broken. I know that. Dead, 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 dead. I had a Civic in high school. Yeah, for, front wheel drive. It's different. It's, it's different. different. It's different. It's different. The 599 started. He it started right away. Now I just dial in like the boring stuff like that. Yeah. He's already ate, you told me. Yo, man, this isn't prison rules, okay? Mark only had eight chicken fingers. Hungry. When a tire deep beats and you're driving around on the inside sidewall, it's gonna be destroyed. But since we're just gonna wreck these tires back here at the block, yeah. it's gonna be all right. Jokes aside, I hope the wheel's not wrecked. That would suck. That's fine. Yeah. That was very I mean, quick for you to say. Yeah. <laughs> well, they have big gouges missing or anything. Good thing they're X comps and they have that stiff sidewall. I might not have completely destroyed the tire to where we can still use it back here. Doing a bit of rubbing, rubbing on the inside of the wheel well. You know there. what? That happened and it's unfortunate, but it's kind of all of our fault when you think about it. <laughs> <laughs> we all contributed to this. You know, guys, when you when you think about it, well, that's oh, yeah, that's not good. Yeah, so the tire was low and then you drove on it. Not just drive on it. Abused it. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, the loss. What that tire is. We need to get some really narrow tires to practice on. Yeah, we need like like a 275 or something would be good. Because you don't need like a ton of grip to do this. Especially back here, lower speeds. It's just easier to slide around. If you have a little less grip and it's more predictable, you don't have to throw it around in every corner. I'm excited to get some lessons from you and how to slide a car around. That's something that I have very little experience with, but I can see how it's addicting. Yeah, very, right? Especially you come in here. Yeah, when you're just like hauling in in the corner, clutch in, grab the e-brake, <laughs> kick it sideways, and power in. Whoa! Is that it? 
that on? Yeah, damn, that's not good. You know how to use this marquee bar? I do. Am I the best person for the job? No, we're not. But I know how to do it. So is this like hit like the side of the road that was made for? Yep. Damn, that's a Whoa! Hole. Damn, it's not even like a sharp screw, it's like a machine screw. Right. Dude, this thing definitely scratched the wheel on the inside. <laughs> Whoa! Wow. No, Holy. it isn't. It? It's a self-tapping screw. Yeah, but man, How that's do a. We get in here, bro? From what? I know. I don't. Dude, SpaceX may fly overhead. <laughs> dude, the airplanes fly over here, and the captain's just out there dropping bolts and screws. Sorry for that, yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> you getting it, Mike? What are you doing? I'm getting it too. Power tools. This is how the Amish do it for their cars. <laughs> It's okay. We'll have the, the wagon run right, again. Yeah, I like my gas. You just hear metal at the end. We're gonna bring this in right now, and Art says his favorite pastime is doing two things at the same time. Two five nine nine at the same time, man. So we're gonna bring this in, and we're gonna put him next to each other, and he can go back and forth. There you go. Get him so, double docking. <laughs> We've got Manatino failure, CST failure, CST system failure, lamp failure. Okay. That was not too bad. Oh. I don't mind that one. Tail lights are out. TPMS not calibrated. Oh, you don't have any tires left. That's basically it. The big one right now is I can't use the switch. Okay. When I want to do anything fun, as you felt when you're not it in the cuts trunk, it's the power. It cuts yeah. the power. Should we just go to Ferrari right now and ask them to help us with this? Should we just go to the dealership and walk we you could. in there? We could. That'd they, be hilarious. They would kick you. I'm going to picture you in the back room. It's about the power on the throttle. Back on it. I, I, it's so lame, though. The power stream does cut out a little that, bit, hey, Mike? That was good diagnostics right there. Stop trying to smash it in the gears. <laughs> Wait, it's Mr. Lanios, you're destroying the sinkholes right now. Like, okay. <laughs> I, think it's, I, I think his trans is screwed up. Oh. Don't be so like that, Arthur. <laughs> Why are you being like that? <laughs> you're in our shop right now. Let's go adjust the thing. Let's go do the adjusting thing on the thing. You gotta fix this one too, my guy. This one's broken too, man. So can we do the thing on that one too? Sure. Yeah, just give me, give me a second. Thanks, man. We've got a special guest here. EAG makes conversion kits for many applications, including the 360. And I have a friend, more of a friend of me, actually, that has a 360 who's here now. I love it. If you close your eyes, it sounds like well, a sick I car. I like this color, bro. Champagne, it's rich. <laughs> I got no comment. It sounds really good. Yeah. So Tim wants to put this engine in his kit car. Dude, there's one for sale. I saw it on Facebook. Nine right grand. Now. That's cheaper than a 2JZ GTE, which is like what comes in a Supra. Should we call him? Yeah. Right? Yeah, on Facebook, yeah, I found it earlier. Better, it sounds sick now. It sounds so good. Dude, oh, we yeah. were just saying 10 grand for a motor and trans from a 360, cheaper than a 2J. That is crazy. Nuts. That is crazy. I don't even think you get, I think like SR swaps are going for like yeah, seven SR grand swaps, nowadays. Exactly. So yeah. I'm like, it really makes that car like not that bad. Yeah. So we got Art here all the way from Texas against his will. Fixing <laughs> not only one but two five nine nines. Wow. Are, have you met Vin in real life before? No. What's up, man? How are you? Oh, this me, is Vin. He's a real son too. of a. You guys are ripping a car apart here, huh? We wrecked some stuff. I broke the wheel today on this thing. Nice. Yeah. The handbrakes now, though. Both of them. Wow. Okay. Dang. Do you want a handbrake in your car? Actual hydros? Yeah. Well, the really? 360 has a second brake caliper on the parking brake, so just delete that button. Yeah. Just use that. And you're already there. Yeah. I'm already there. Put an aggressive pad on it. We just need to get a diff. It needs oh, like a proper diff. Yeah, yeah. But I'm sure someone makes like a like Quay for wave track or OS or someone has she to just it. just weld it. Just weld it. <laughs> <laughs> If you want to do it, I'm bringing here, you do it. I'm not pulling my dip out to weld it, that's for it's sure. It's all one piece. 
<laughs> That'd be so funny. I think those dips like come out of the trans pretty easy, though. Yeah, right? I think you pop the side cover off and you can pull them out. Yeah. Yeah. Just going around the court. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Got the whole thing torn apart. What did I do? I'm adjusting it. It's just slightly off. Is that why it's hard to get in first sometimes? Yeah, because you drive it so hard you stretch the cable. We were in the parking lot and I was trying to get in first. He's like, don't push up, don't push up. I was like, punch it and I kicked it and got it in. He said, that's bad. Yeah, don't do that. Uh, as far as the electrical issues with this car, what did we learn? Because you mentioned off camera that you have an update for us. I guess when you tried to copy this file, you corrupted it. So that's why it's not starting. So we'll just put the original file back on. When you say it's not starting, if we had the transmission it plugged in, it wouldn't start. So we had to unplug to get it to run, but that's where we got those errors from. Yeah. So hopefully. So once we put the correct file back on it, it'll be good to the go. The non corrupt file, then it should be fine. Let me turn off TC and do dumb video later tonight have you done much dumb by the nines before no do i do some dumb night i could do some dumb six and a half hours later it's like 10 o'clock at night art's been at this all day i see the car on the ground with wheels on it what are you doing what does that mean We're going for a test drive we're golden yeah can i drive it first yeah go for it I'm blown away right now. Literally, Art's been at this now for like 12 hours. Back and forth, back and forth, trying to change one thing, change another thing. We got 599, 599 running together, I think for the first time ever. Right? Oh, yeah. Damn it, I'm gonna be such holes in these things. <laughs> drive and Damon manual converted 599 thanks to EAG. So ours is testing it right now make sure it all shifts. Remember the car hasn't been driven yet. <laughs> careful, careful. I'm not sure how much experience he has doing donuts but that's okay. He deserves it. I had no idea it lets loose like that. Yeah. Like I just Little it's bit. Also, and it also just, there it's just concrete. Oh, it just came out. You okay? I didn't mean that. Actually? It was fun. Okay, okay, okay. Let me try it out. <laughs> that was a massive exhaust leak. It sounds way different than mine. Listen. Right over here. sensor error. That's it on this car. After all the headaches, after all that energy and all that time, four weeks going back and forth, I can officially say these cars are good to go. Now, massive exhaust leak on this car right now. When we knew about that, before Damon gets back, I'll make sure the boys get that dialed in. The black one I haven't tried yet. So now we're going to the black car and try it out. How amazing is this video right now? I'm pumped, dude. Like, thank you so much. You flew all the way from Texas to make this happen. Okay, let's try the black one. It's rowdy. It's so rowdy. It snaps so quick. I've only done donuts here in the Squadra Corsa where you have to, like, you only have throttle and it's a lot slower. This is, like, kicks you around with a handbrake to initiate. <laughs> Here, hop in. Fire. 
We'll pull them off the wheels, I don't really care. That car doesn't have Alex's flame tune, this one does. So the next step will be I'll take that to Alex, take the car to him, just add the flame. The same way I did in this car. I've learned my lesson, don't take out the ECUs. <laughs> Make sense? <laughs> Break, you have to pull very, very, very hard because it's a small caliper. And Mike said it's mostly about the pads, so it has to work to do with. I do notice the power steering pump is real heavy, we're not expecting to. That's gonna be a problem. So there's a real delicate balance of being on the handbrake. That's a work on the handbrake. Okay, so. I need to learn how to use all this. This is the first time I'm ever doing any of this right now. We got dial on the power steering pump. Something's not right. Maybe it's low on fluid. Because when I'm doing all that stuff, all of a sudden I'll get real stiff and that kind of but for tomorrow. Oh man, I'm spent. Oh, okay, hold on. Try to vlog while I learn how to drive at the same time. Oh, you guys, that is something else. I'm out of breath. Thanks to this guy. That was fun. Thanks to Art, we yeah. now have two, yeah, let's get some fresh air. I need to gather myself. You guys just experienced the most genuine reaction I've ever had in my life to any car stuff we've ever done. You make the 599 such a fun car. A car that was actually, to be honest, when I first bought it, really boring. It doesn't sound like anything. Suspension's super soft, and the F1 gearbox sucked. The E-gear on my Squadra Corsa is really good. It's very snappy, it's fun, it's exciting. This was just awful. So thanks to Art and EAG, who makes the world's best conversion kit. There is no one else. He flew here, no one else could figure this out. Like, it literally had everybody on it, Art did it. So, huge thank you to Art, you guys. Give him a follow on Instagram right now. EAG USA on Instagram, send him a huge thank you. But just imagine the sh** that we're gonna create with these two cars here on the block. Both of them out there. A few things to dial in, but it's gonna be absolute chaos with these cars, and I really encourage you guys, if you're watching this and you're in the market for an exotic car, grab a 599. I hate using the word cheap because it's inaccurate. They're inexpensive for what what you get. You call Art. Art will sell you a kit. You can sell it yourself or ship the car to him, he'll install it for you. You get an exhaust from Valvetronic. You get a handbrake if you want. You don't really need it unless you're really beating on these cars. I think it's fun. Then you have arguably the best bang for your buck in any exotic car with an Enzo 600 horsepower plus V12, rear wheel drive, sexy car. And guess what? Pretty soon, we'll get some body modifications. We'll make them look even crazier. I have an idea for my car and especially a livery. So that's it, you guys. A few minutes later. My ears hurt now. It's getting rowdy out here, guys. These beats, you never know what's yeah. gonna happen. So don't go anywhere. Well, this thing's a wild BMW. Give Terry a run for his money. What is going on here? Look at the wing. That's dope. I know this car. Fred RG owned this, and then Tanner Fox owned it. I don't know who owns it now, but it has the Liberty Walk kit on it. Is this yours? I wish. One day, oh. man. This lie of the internet, that's what I do all the time. I should not anymore, I got in trouble one time. There was an apology video, we don't do that anymore. Oh, that was loud. It's chaos. I think we might be too old. Southern California car scene. If you haven't been out here, come check it out. Hey, you like this? I like it. Yeah. I'm not a fan. I wouldn't do it to my car. That's over the top and cool. It's not over the top and cool. It's not functional. What the hell is that? What the hell is this? It's a 2J and a Gallardo. You gotta do this to your car. Like, this is the craziest car I've ever seen. What's up, dude? Holy 
Yeah, I mean, that's sick. Yep. You got a lot of money in this thing. Yeah, like a lot. You smell money when you rev it. Look at the turbo on this. Damn. I thought I was cool if I got it over. No? That's dope. What's up? What's going on, man? How are you? Did you fire taxes yet or do it for 15? <laughs> right, make a note of that. What the f did you do with this thing? What's going on here? Um, According to everyone, I ruined a Lamborghini. No, you did not I, ruin it. I had to cut the frame in half, stretch it four inches, put a 2J in it, 1100 horsepower. Yeah. 1100, bro. This thing's wild. Look at the suspension. It redesigned all the suspension. Yep. The cantilever, is that what you call yep. it? Yep, bro. And same in the front. You can actually see it in the dash right there. How long did it take you to build this? Two years. Oh, That's pretty quick. Yeah, there was always more than one person working on it it's at all times. Job. And then, yeah, it ended up being like seven times more expensive than I thought it was going to yeah, be. Yeah. I, yeah. We're building our F12 right now. Our build so far is like half a million dollars or we're not even close to being done. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, that's why on here I wanted to like not use any Lamborghini parts. Yeah. So because yeah. that's what makes it so much yeah. cheaper. But still, it's like around 350, 400,000 that spent on it. So. Yeah, dude. It's hard to be unique in this business, and this thing is yeah crazy. So props to you for Appreciate having it. the balls to build something like this, you guys. <laughs> Damn. Dude, the NSX Underglow is sick. I like it. I like those shoes too. Okay, NSX Underglow. Bro, these cars, when I was in my heyday, were so cheap, like 30 grand Canadian. No one wanted them. Not everybody wants one. I think we will end up buying one, just having an inventory, because it's cool. Find a good deal on one, but odds are, as time goes on, prices will go up. So, if you want to do it, gotta do it soon. On the channel, but some of these cars are insane. It sounds like gunshots, everybody. Yeah, we're the battery get out of here. Runs crazy. What the helicopter out? Oh my god, I told you guys, I foreshadowed this. When's the last time you did this, Garrett? It's why I haven't been out here at night for so long. It's why we only do donuts at the headquarters. That's right. On the block, where we're allowed to do it. What'd you say? This is the something police department. Everybody evacuate now. Evacuate? Evacuate. It's crazy. It's crazy. What's likely going to happen is they're going to ask somebody just to leave. They'll keep running their sirens to annoy people that want to leave. It usually works. Typically, they'll pull people over. They don't want to cause a huge problem and people get all escalated. So they just run sirens, tell people to leave, people disperse, and that'll be that. That's Ryan! Hi, Ryan! This poor guy in the cyber shot can't turn around. I cannot get out right now. How do they expect him to get out when they're not moving? I don't know. They're telling him to disperse and leave. He's like, bro, I can't. I can't get out. Like, well, then. Hey, good job, guys. Get it done. Have a good night. It's a lot of pressure. 
Hear me out. I want to do this to the roof of the Carrera Van GT. But come on, you guys. Look at the roof in this thing, bro. She bangs. She bangs. She really bangs. So we could do this in the Carrera Van GT? Yeah, yeah. Put the underglow too, right? I love her in here right now looking at this roof while there's literally riot police shutting down this car meet. This is California. People watching this right now, they never experienced it. Like, how would you describe it down here? Mayhem? I kind of like mayhem though. Right? Yeah, it's not bad. It makes it more fun. It's not a bad time.